So the servants of the householder came and said unto him, Sir, didst not thou sow good seed in thy field? From whence then hath it tares? He said unto them, An enemy hath done this. The servants said unto him, Wilt thou then that we go and gather them up? But he said, Nay. Lest while ye gather up the tares, ye root up also the wheat with them. Let both grow together until the harvest. In the time of harvest, I will say to the reapers, Gather ye together first the tares, and bind them in bundles to burn them. But gather the wheat into my barn. Israelites, as the signs of the times continue to shake all the kingdoms of this world, make sure you know and understand how the Most High is communicating with his people at this time. Some Israelites and strangers only understand flesh. They cannot comprehend spiritual matters. Too many Israelites reason in the flesh. The time have come for you to stop trying to understand what is spiritual with the flesh. In order for you to understand how the Most High is communicating with his people, you must walk in the Spirit. This I say then, walk in the Spirit, and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. For the flesh lusteth against the Spirit, and the Spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary the one to the other, so that ye cannot do the things that ye would. Walking in the Spirit is the only way you will understand the language of the Most High. Remember, the Most High don't communicate with your flesh, nor does the Father do anything in the flesh. The scriptures inform us that we cannot please the Most High in the flesh. Therefore, the Most High will not communicate nor order our steps in the flesh. Israelites, it's very important that you elevate spiritually for you to see how the Most High is ordering the steps of the righteous at this time. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, and he delighteth in his way. How do you know the Most High is ordering your steps if you don't understand when he speaks to you? Remember, man does not live by bread only, but by the words of the Most High does man live. If you don't understand the language of the Most High, how are you communicating with the Father? How do you know when he answers your prayers? The scripture said the sheep of the Most High know his voice and they follow his voice. A strange voice they will not follow. All Israelites and Gentiles that follow religion have been following strange voices. Many have been listening to seducing spirits speak lies to them in religion. Even in the other awakening, many Israelites and strangers are listening to seducing spirits. Despite being awakened from their slumber, they cannot differentiate the voice of the Father through the Holy Spirit from the voice of familiar spirits. Israelites, it's important for you to silence the strange voices you are used to hearing and following. Allow the voice of the Father through the Holy Spirit triumphant over the voice of the Satans and your own voice. If you submit to the Most High, resist the devils, the Satans and the unclean spirits will flee from you. By resisting the devils, you will hear the Father clearly through the Holy Spirit. Submit yourselves therefore to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Last week, you learned that the truth that is exploding all over the world is the gospel of the kingdom that was prophesied by the word of God to be heard in all the kingdoms of this world as a witness to all nations. The prophecy indicate that when the nations hear the gospel of the kingdom as a witness to all nations, then the end will come. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. And then shall the end come. Israelites, understand when the scripture said that after all nations have heard the truth, the end have come. Know that there are more prophecies that must take place before the last day. Some Israelites misunderstand the scriptures when it talks about the signs of the times. Some people believe as soon as the truth is heard in all the kingdoms of this world, Michael will stand up to deliver us. Israelites, that is not the case. 
there's still a lot of prophecies that needs to be fulfilled before the last and final day. Remember, everything written must be fulfilled. It's important for you to know the difference between the last days, the end times, and the last day. I did a teaching about understanding time. Please watch that message to increase your knowledge about the times. One day in our time is 24 hours. One day for the Father is like a thousand years for us. But beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing, that one day is with the Lord as a thousand years, and a thousand years is one day. Just because we arrived at the end times, it doesn't mean the end time will be over in 24 hours. It can take many years before the end time becomes the last and final day. I know many Israelites are anxious to be delivered from the land of their captivity. Be patient. The end times are not pleasant times. There will be a lot of sorrows. The Most High will expose the hearts of the pretenders. Many people you love and care for, a great majority of them will not make it to the coming kingdom. I know religion led many to believe over 3 billion people serve the God of Israel. That is not true. There's only a remnant. The Satans deceive a lot of people into believing they serve the God of Israel in religion. A great majority of this world's population is an enemy to the Father. You can't serve the Father and practice religion. Religion is witchcraft and idolatry. The Most High made it very clear in the scriptures that anyone who is a friend of this world is an enemy to him. Ye adulterers and adulteresses, know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with God? Whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is the enemy of God. If you share the same belief with religion and the beast culture, you're an enemy to the Most High. What do light have in common with darkness? In the other awakening, there are many Israelites who share the same belief with Rome. How have you awakened and returned to serve the Father while upholding the doctrines of Rome? Satan deceived the whole world. Too many people believe they are a friend to the Father and that they love the Father. However, when the truth is being taught, they become offended and hate the truth. Religion made many sinners believe they will be saved because Jesus took their sins away. The doctrines of devils from the workers of iniquity are a stumbling block to all people. Israelites, this is why the Most High have to do the good work in us to transform our mind. Some people can't comprehend that the Satans have truly deceived the whole world. And a great dragon was cast out, an old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world. He was cast out into the earth and his angels were cast out with him. Israelites, know that in the end times, perilous times shall come. The great tribulation is a time of trouble. The day of the Lord is not a day people should want to come quickly. The scriptures warn us about rushing for the day of the Lord to come. That day will be a day of darkness. Every household will be lamenting. Israelites, give the most high time to save as many as he can before your deliverance. After your redemption, it's too late for all who hate the God of Israel. Therefore the Lord, the God of hosts, the Lord saith thus, Wailing shall be in all streets, and they shall say in all the highways, Alas, alas, and they shall call the husbandmen to mourning, and such as are skillful of lamentation to wailing. And all vineyards shall be wailing, for I will pass through thee, saith the Lord. Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. To what end is it for you? The day of the Lord is darkness, not light. Israelites, allow the Most High to do the necessary work in all of his people that will inherit the coming kingdom. When the last and final day come, it's over. All the opportunity given to repent is finished. There are people in the awakening that need to be transformed still. Some of you believe you're safe because you know what is going on in this world. The Most High have allowed the spirit of wisdom to increase our knowledge at this time. Just because you know what is going on, it doesn't mean you're safe. How is your heart? A person with a hard heart like Cain and Esau would not inherit the coming kingdom. There's a lot of Israelites in the awakening walking around with a hard heart. 
That is how Satan is able to use them to attack their own people and to do his will. Be patient and allow the Most High to transform the hearts and minds of the remnant. After the nations hear the truth, the word of God prophesied and said that the abomination of desolation spoken by Daniel the prophet will come to take his place. When ye therefore shall see the abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel the prophet stand in the holy place, whoso readeth, let him understand. The abomination of desolation is the Jewish Messiah that will come. As you can see, Israelites, although the scripture said, the end hath come when all nations hear the gospel of the kingdom, which is the truth that is spreading all over the world, there's still a lot more prophecies that must take place before the official last day when the word of God come to fulfill his promise of raising all the people, the most high the father have drawn to him, at the last day. No man can come to me except the Father which hath sent me. Draw him, and I will raise him up at the last day. In between the signs of the times that indicate the gospel must be taught in all the kingdoms to the men of sin, fulfilling everything written about him, can be a span of multiple years. Israelites, that is why it's important for you to understand how the Most High is communicating with his people at this time. We're living in critical times. Don't let your focus be on one prophecy while neglecting many other prophecies that must take place in between major prophecies. Majority of Israelites want their redemption to come every time a prophecy is fulfilled. That is why many Israelites associate the lying wonders from the Satans as the signs of the times. Whatever is happening in this generation, some Israelites proclaim it's the end of the world and the Messiah is coming. Israelites, our redemption will come at the appointed time. If you allow the Most High to order your steps, everything will line up according to the will of the Father. The abomination of desolation spoken by Daniel the prophet marked the beginning to the great tribulation. For then there shall be great tribulation such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time. No, nor ever shall be. The tribulation begins after the prophecy of every nation hearing the gospel of truth and the men of sin take his seat in the holy place. Israelites, that is why it's important for us not to skip steps. In addition, we must allow the scriptures to speak. We can't force the scriptures to do our will. The best thing we can do as a people is to return to the Father. We have to make sure our heart is pure before the Father. Also, we have to allow the Most High to renew our minds. While we were sleeping, we forgot a lot of things. We have to unlearn the beast culture's ways and the beast religion's doctrines. We have to allow the Holy Spirit to teach us about our heritage and our God. We have been serving idols in the land of our captivity. The scripture said the gods we're serving in the land of our captivity our ancestors didn't even know. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people, from the one end of the earth even unto the other. And there thou shalt serve other gods, which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. Today, there are Israelites in denial about the sin of idolatry in this generation. Some Israelites believe they've always worshipped the God of Israel in religion. If you were serving the God of Israel in religion, the Most High wouldn't have called his people out of religion. We have to get to know the God of Israel by seeking his face. We must allow the truth to correct history. Following the Gentiles and the other species of mankind will only disturb your peace and alter where you spend eternity. The Holy Spirit would tell you everything to come. The Holy Spirit that abide with us was given to us for that very purpose. Utilize the Holy Spirit. There are many prophecies said to be fulfilled in the end times. If you humble yourself, the Most High will allow you to see some of these prophecies live. While the gospel of the kingdom, the truth of the Most High's words, are going forth into all the nations in this world, I want to bring to your attention another prophecy being fulfilled while the nations are hearing the truth for a witness. The harvest that is supposed to separate the tares from the wheats is happening right now. 
The scripture said during the end times at the harvest, the Most High will call his reapers to separate the tares from the wheats. Let both grow together until the harvest. In the time of harvest, I will say to the reapers, Gather ye together first the tares, and bind them in bundles to burn them. But gather the wheat into my barn. Before we go deep into the parable, the word of God shared with his disciples about gathering the tares together in bundles to burn them. Who are the tares and who are the wheats? The word of God described the wheats as the children of the kingdom. The children of the kingdom is the remnant that will return to serve the most high in the spirit and in truth. The remnant are the righteous that will inherit the coming kingdom. The righteous is all of Adam's seed that repented and served the God of Israel in the spirit and in truth. The tares are the children of the wicked one, the Satans. Because some of the descendants of Adam failed to serve the God of Israel, many indigenous black people have given themselves to idolatry and refused to repent. These individuals and groups are a part of the children of the tares. You don't have to be a direct descendant of the seed of the fallen to be a tear. All who does the will of Satan are the children of Satan. In this the children of God are manifest, and the children of the devil. Whosoever doeth not righteousness is not of God, neither he that loveth not his brother. The scripture in the book of 1 John went on to say that Cain was a child of the wicked one because his own deeds were evil. We all know that Cain is the first man born on earth. Cain's parents were Adam and Eve. Because Cain was evil and he had a hard heart, he killed his own brother out of hatred and envy. Cain's wickedness imitates the will of Satan. That is how Cain became the child of the wicked one. Not as Cain, who was of that wicked one, and slew his brother. And wherefore slew he him? Because his own works were evil and his brothers righteous. As to Cain, he was so sullen and so angry that he went into the field where Satan came to him and said to him, Since thy brother Abel has taken refuge with thy father Adam, because thou didst trust him from the altar, they have kissed his face and they rejoice over him far more than over thee. When Cain heard these words of Satan, he was filled with rage and he let no one know, but he was laying wait to kill his brother until he brought him into the cave. Israelites, it's very important for you to understand that there are indigenous black people who are of the seed of Adam, like Esau and the Canaanites, that does the will of the Satans. They sold themselves to do evil. There are many indigenous black people who participate in the sins of the wicked ones, making them a child of the evil ones, a tear. I don't want anyone to be misinformed about the identity of the tares. Yes, the children of the fallen watchers are tares. The seed of the fallen are the original tares. However, the tares are not the seed of the fallen only. All indigenous black people who follow and does the will of the Satans are a part of the tares community. That is why the scripture in the book of 1 John let us know that Cain was a child of the wicked one because of his evil ways. The scriptures went on to say that all the righteous are the children of the Most High. Being an indigenous black person doesn't exclude you from becoming a tear. The scripture said in the book of Amos, all the sinners of my people will die by the sword. All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, which say... The evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. All who does the will of the Father are the children of the Most High. That is including the Gentiles that truly serve the God of Israel. The Gentiles trapped in religion don't serve the God of Israel. Many of them are misled to believe that they serve the God of Israel. In actuality, they serve the God of this world. Only the strangers and Gentiles that recognized the deception and repented of their sins, turned from their wicked ways, and cleaved to the Israelites are a part of the strangers that will be in the coming kingdom as a servant to the Israelites. The strangers and Gentiles that cleave and serve the Most High in the spirit and in truth are considered to be the children of the Most High. Israelites know that the population of the children of the Most High is very small. That is why there's only a remnant. The remnant shall return, even the remnant of Jacob, unto the mighty God. 
The road to life is narrow and only a few will find the road to life. Israelites, it's important for you to know that just because you're an Israelite, it doesn't mean you're safe. That is why we must repent and return to the Father. Allow the Most High through the Holy Spirit to sanctify you with truth because the words of the Most High is truth. Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. Now that you know who the tares are, the scriptures identify an enemy came while man slept and so tares among the weeds and went his way. I find it interesting that the scriptures mention while men slept. The spirit of slumber have truly destroyed the seed of Adam that they've allowed an enemy to come among them. So tares and went his way. Today, the people cannot differentiate the wheats from the tares that the identity and bloodline of the indigenous black people are given to the tares. The tares have mingled themselves among the wheats. Hardly anyone know who's who. The parable went on to reveal of the servant asking his master if he should uproot the tares from among the weeds. The master's response was to let the tares dwell among the weeds because if he allowed the servant to uproot the tares at that time, some of the weeds would be damaged in the process. Instead of dealing with the tares as they sprung up, the master allowed the tares and the weeds to grow together until the harvest. So the servants of the householder came and said unto him, Sir, didst not thou sow good seed in thy field? From whence then hath it tares? He said unto them, An enemy hath done this. The servants said unto him, Wilt thou then that we go and gather them up? But he said, Nay, lest while ye gather up the tares, ye root up also the wheat with them. Let both grow together until the harvest. And in the time of harvest... I will say to the reapers, Gather ye together first the tares, and bind them in bundles to burn them. But gather the wheat into my barn. The Most High decided to allow both species of mankind to live together on earth until the harvest. The only reason the Father allowed the tares to dwell among the wheats, the Father didn't want to injure the wheats in the process. Just because the Most High allowed the tares to live among the wheats, it doesn't mean the father approve of the tares. We know the indigenous black people come from Adam and Eve. What about the original tares? We know in the days of Jared, when the population of man began to multiply on earth, the fallen watchers procreated with the daughters of men and brought forth children. The scriptures in the book of Enoch describe the appearance of the children of the fallen and their violent behaviors. When man's wickedness increased, the Most High sent the flood that destroyed a large population of the Nephthalims that walked the earth. Some people are having a hard time comprehending that after the flood, the seed of the fallen continued to exist. The scripture confirmed in the book of Genesis that the giants continue to exist after the flood. There were giants in the earth in those days and also after that. When the sons of God came in unto the daughters of men, and they bare children to them, the same became mighty men, which were of old, men of renown. Despite the scriptures revealing the existence of the giants after the flood, some Israelites cannot comprehend that the seed of the fallen exists today. After the flood, the giants who didn't die lived to have children. If you read the scriptures, you will see that the Israelites and other indigenous bloodlines encountered the children of the giants. David fought with Goliath. The scriptures mention that Goliath had brothers that dwell in Gath, the Edomites in Seir, the Moabites in Moab, and the Israelites before inheriting the promised land encountered the seed of the fallen on the land the Most High gave to them for an inheritance. And the Lord said unto me, Distress not the Moabites, neither contend with them in battle. For I will not give thee of their land for a possession, because I have given Ar unto the children of Lot for a possession. The Emims dwelt therein in times past, a people great and many and tall, as the Anakims, which also were accounted giants as the Anakims, but the Moabites called them Emims. The Orims also dwelt in Seir before time. But the children of Esau succeeded them when they had destroyed them from before them and dwelt in their stead, as Israel did unto the land of his possession, which the Lord gave unto them. 
As you heard in the scriptures, before the Moabites inherited their land, the scriptures said the Anakims, who are of the giants, dwell there. The scriptures said Esau succeeded the Horites that dwell in Seir. So did the Israelites before inheriting their land. The scriptures let us know about the presence of giants after the flood. The children of the fallen had children. The book of Jubilees said the Nephthalims or Naphil devoured each other. The giants slew the Naphil and the Naphil slew the Eljo. Several different names for the multiple breeds of the children of the fallen angels. Today, the name given to the modern day seed of the fallen angels are the Neanderthals. For owing to these three things came the flood upon the earth. Namely, owing to the fornication wherein the watchers against the laws of their ordinance went a whoring after the daughters of men and took themselves wives of all which they choose and they made the beginning of uncleanness. And they begot sons, the Naphidim, and they were all unlike and they devoured one another and the giants slew the Naphil and the Naphil slew the Eljo and the Eljo mankind and one man another. This is the root to the other species of mankind. There are many people walking among us with Neanderthal DNA. This truth, the Satans wants to keep buried. In the generation of our ancestors, the offspring of the fallen angels colonized land all over the world. In the process of colonizing the world, the colonizers took advantage of the indigenous black women in the land they colonized. The colonizers planted their seed all over the world and went their way. Just as the parable said, the children born from the colonizers and the indigenous black women are the mixed race people you see all over the world today. People like the Latinos, the Asians, the Arab, the Indians. These are the people some Israelites are assigning the indigenous bloodline to. There are some Israelites giving the mixed seed the Israelite heritage. The seed of the fallen have mingled themselves with the indigenous population so well that the Most High allowed the tares to dwell among the weeds. If he uproot the tares, the indigenous black people who entangled themselves with the tares would have been uprooted in the process. Therefore, the Most High said he will wait until the harvest to gather the tares. The harvest is the end times, the end of the world. The enemy that sowed them is the devil. The harvest is the end of the world. And the reapers are the angels. How is the Most High separating the tares from the wheat? The gospel of truth the Most High have sent to be taught in all the kingdoms of this world is separating the tares from the wheat. The truth that is being heard is causing the separation. Back then, if the Most High would have uprooted the tares when they first appeared, it would have been too many casualties. Presently, the truth that is spreading across the world is easily separating the tares from the wheat. All who believe the gospel of truth are repenting and returning to the Father. All who reject the truth are fighting against the truth and separating themselves from the people who believe the truth. In the physical realm, we see the truth separating the wicked from the righteous. Behind the scenes, in the spirit, the reapers, whom the scriptures identify as the angels, are separating the tares from the wheat the wicked from the righteous. The word of God explained to his disciples that at the end of the world, the Most High will separate the tares from the wheat. As therefore the tares are gathered and burned in the fire, so shall it be in the end of this world. The Son of Man shall send forth his angels and they shall gather out of his kingdom all things that offend and them which do iniquity and shall cast them into a furnace of fire there shall be wailing and gnashing of teeth. The separation of the tares must happen in the end times during the time the gospel is being taught in all the kingdoms as a testimony. When the time given for the gospel of the kingdom to be heard expires, the end have come. The scripture said the end of the world is the harvest. At the harvest, the tares will be gathered. I can see the separation taking place in the beast system as the Gentiles have come to the realization that they have inherited lies. The righteous in the population of the Gentiles are repenting and cleaving to the Israelites. 
in the awakening, the Israelites who believe Rome and its doctrines is going in one direction, while the Israelites who have completely come out of her and returned to the Father is going in another direction. The truth is causing many to choose this day whom they will serve. That is how the reapers who are the angels are separating the children of the wicked one from the righteous. The wicked and the righteous have nothing in common. After the truth is heard, all who share the same belief will gather together. Remember, can two walk together unless they agree? Can two walk together except they be agreed? The scripture is correct when it say, can two walk together unless they agree? Can the Israelites who don't believe the Messiah is Michael walk with me if they don't agree? They can't. The Israelites who disagree will go to channels that share the same belief as them and gather together. Likewise, the truth of the gospel being heard right now in all the nations will separate the children of the wicked one from the children of the Most High. Israelites, that is how the Most High is separating the tares into bundles at the harvest to burn them. The word of God will send his angels to gather all who does the will of the Satans to cast them into the lake of fire at the end of the world. The son of man shall send forth his angels and they shall gather out of his kingdom all things that offend and them which do iniquity and shall cast them into a furnace of fire. There shall be wailing and gnashing of teeth. As you can see, Israelites, multiple prophecies are being fulfilled at the same time. Israelites, that is why it's important for you to walk in the spirit to see what is happening behind the scenes at this time. The spirit realm give you a glimpse of what is happening behind the scenes. You must understand how the most high operate as well as how he communicate with the righteous to understand what is taking place in plain sight. While the world is focused on the wars and the natural disasters taking place because the earth is groaning, the Most High is carrying on with what he has prophesied from the very beginning. Declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times the things that are not yet done, saying, My counsel shall stand, and I will do all my pleasure. You must be vigilant. Israelites, if you allow the Satan's lying wonders to distract you, also, if you allow the voice of familiar spirits to occupy your mind, you won't see what is taking place right now. Too many Israelites are focusing on the heathens raging and making plans to war with you because the sorcery they have done to you in religion is not working anymore. Therefore, the heathens are raging and trying to find ways to get you to come under their control. You can't let what the Most High is doing to the Gentile nations distract you from seeking the face of the Most High. Everything written will come to pass. These be the days of vengeance, that all things which are written may be fulfilled. The scriptures explain that the tares are the children of the wicked one. You learn that the wicked ones are all people who does the will of the Satans, regardless if you knowingly do the will of the Satans or unknowingly. All people who does the will of the Satans are tares. The tares are the children of the wicked one. The field is the world. The good seed are the children of the kingdom. But the tares are the children of the wicked one. All who hear the truth and believe are counted as righteous. All who hear the truth and reject the truth, the reapers will gather them together in bundles for the harvest. Israelites, at the harvest, you're not going to physically see the angels separating the tares from the wheat. When you have the Holy Spirit, you will be able to see all who are offended by the truth going in one direction, while those who are truly seeking the face of the Father are coming together to do as the Most High command of them. The Father said to our generation, repent, pray, seek his face, and turn from your wicked ways. If you do this, the Father will hear his people and heal their land. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. The word of God prophesied that at the harvest, which is the end of the world, the wicked will be gathered. If you didn't know the gathering of the tares, the children of the wicked one is happening right now at the harvest through the truth. 
Today, the Most High have revealed it. Israelites, it's very important that you take your time to comprehend everything the Most High is exposing right now. Don't be quick to reject the truth because the truth you're hearing doesn't make you feel good. Truth don't cater to your emotions. Remember, the truth of the Most High's words is a sword. The sword of the Spirit is meant to cut you to bring forth change. The sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God, will transform you if you let it. And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. Israelites, don't reject the truth the Most High is giving you the privilege to hear. Let the truth you're hearing today sanctify you and draw you closer to the Most High. We are at the harvest. The truth is helping the reapers identify the children of the wicked one. Israelites, you don't want to be found among the children of the wicked one. Seek the face of the Father and allow the Most High to order your steps. Rejecting knowledge because you don't understand it or it doesn't make you feel good will cause you to perish from a lack of knowledge and the Most High will reject you. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge because thou hast rejected knowledge. I will also reject thee that thou shalt be no priest to me. Seeing that thou hast forgotten the law of thy God, I will also forget thy children. Religion caused too many people to perish from a lack of knowledge. The Most High awakened his people out of their slumber to fill them with truth that can save their life. If religion was feeding the people with truth, the people wouldn't be malnourished. Israelites, feed your spirit with the truth of the Most High's words. I know so many of you are led to believe Doctrines have the ability to set you free from spiritual bondage and strongholds. Don't be deceived by the Satan's doctrines. The truth is the only thing that can make you free. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. The Most High is using the truth to separate the tares from the wheat. Israelites, don't let the separation of the tares discourage you. The separation of the tares is necessary in order for the weeds to properly return to the Most High. The tares have dwelt among the weeds long enough. The harvest is here to finally separate the tares that have been a thorn in your flesh. Israelites, allow the prophecy to come to pass. Don't interfere with what is written. Everything written must be fulfilled. Allow the Most High to do His will on earth. In order for your redemption to come, all prophecies must come to pass. As the Most High does as He please, Israelites make sure you're doing the will of the Most High. That is the only way you will inherit the coming kingdom. God has gone up with a shout. The Lord with the sound of a trumpet. Sing praises to God. Sing praises. Sing praises unto our King. Sing praises. For God is the King of all the earth. Sing ye praises with understanding. God reigneth over the heathen. God sitteth upon the throne of his holiness. The princes of the people are gathered together, even the people of the God of Abraham. For the shields of the earth belong unto God. He is greatly exalted. <laughs>